And I'll tell you what, man, I, all I know is that if you're, if you're not serious about, you know, practicing this lifestyle, you are putting yourself at risk. I mean, that, that's all I got to say on that. Man, I, I, I shout out to nobody game. All they have is that white skin game. And bro, let, let me, kind of I just want to say this. Uh, you could do one thing biologically, the entire population of black America by only getting 525 Jason Roger Popes in every state. And within a year, you can pretty much fucking infect the entire black American community. Because we're not talking about the fact that these women were married. They had relationships with Kenyan men. Do we even fucking know how big the STD cluster would be with this one Mike Oliver? Right. They already got STD problems over there in Africa and HIV. They already over there experimenting with vaccines and shit for the last hundred years in Africa. You could, we're talking about, this is a UN issue. This ain't just mm. no micro level shit. If you go look at the dude's Facebook page, he's trolling the fuck out of the Kenyans. He's on there telling them, I'm glad I did it. You deserved it. These women knew that I had HIV. They wanted it. He's saying the shit on his Facebook page. Yes, he is. Tyler. Can you blame him? Can he blame him? Any black uh, man that keeps uh, chasing uh, after this is chasing after death. Right. And yeah. continue to do so. I, I, I don't get that a lot of these cats be investing into slave Putin. Like, how can I go? Okay, let's just sit here and think about this. They, never get out of, they may never get out of this corner because at some point, they're going to run out of isms. And I think that we've already reached that point. But I think that there is a silver lining in the Jason Roger Pope and the Mike Oliver exposés. Yeah. And that's the fact that now this whole talking point of black men, in because we already knew that black women have the highest HIV infection rate of any group in America. Three right? and a half times. And, right. And, and, and people were trying to figure out, like, how is it that the black women, they always say that black men are giving them disease. But now we find out that these black women have the highest um, percentage of HIV, especially with new cases. So what we learned is that it was three things really going on. One, they are sharing a very, very, very minute number of black men within um, the community. And Correct. then outside of the community, they're going around and they're dealing with these dudes like Mike Oliver and Jason Roger Pope who are slumming and bringing these diseases back to the black community. And then you also have the their, their very confused sexuality that has them going back and forth between the A through Z. Yep. So you got that, those, that combination, that cocktail of degenerate and pathological behavior and then you get this factual number that says these are the most diseased women within America. But the whole time we were all growing up being told it was us black men doing this to them. No, no, it no, 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 her no. Own behavior and her preference for the lowest C type of men and even some women that they're messing with. And they're the ones giving them diseases to the point now where, bro, like I said, just really wrap your head around the fact that it would only take. 26,250 bottom shelf brag STD bots to infect the entire 40 million black community here in America. That shit is some scary stuff, bro, that they could they yeah. have that much power in 2020. Because again, the whole Hollywood has gotten behind this. I know you brothers see it every time you turn on the damn TV. Every commercial is a white man and a black one every day well, they shovel it down the throats because in real life statistics that's not how it works in real life so they try exactly. to shove down the propaganda to promote this to happen and in, yeah. in reality because the numbers are very minute it's like less than less than one half of one percent which of means that, 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 that your boy mr right which means that this guy right here his penetration rate is heavy because mm -hmm. I mean, these ladies are sleeping with these guys. Mm -hmm. So even though the, the numbers of them getting wifed up are low, the, the numbers of them getting gagged oh, are high. extremely high. So that means high. that's why, you know, just like he said, it's only take 26,000. You know, so if this, these guys got nothing else to do, but these are worse than the dudes that be the Pookie and Ray Rays that are hanging in the hood.